Hi! In today's tutorial, we are going to see how to curate content via feed. If you are new to RSS feeds, it is a way for websites to send their content to their subscribers. It used to be a very big problem because one person may like hundreds of websites but they cannot go to individual websites all the time to make sure that they are updated on everything being published there. So the concept of RSS feed became very popular. People could simply subscribe to a website and whenever they published something new, it will come to them automatically. <clears throat> it is still popular and you could use the same technology, RSS feeds, to get newly published content on your favorite websites. You will go to the feed manager menu and click on add new feed. Usually you can type a link to a website, for instance this is Rikirpost's own website um, and we will be able to find the feed for that website. In very few cases, usually when a website has multiple feeds or they do not have an easy, um, easy link to their feed, if it is hidden or if it is really obscure, then we may not be able to find the link and in that case you will have to give us a link to that feed directly but usually um, entering the URL of the website works. So you enter the website, you select which library content from this feed should go to. So let's say my blog <coughs> and then you have two options. Do you want everything that gets published added directly to your library? You would want that if it was your own blog and you knew that you control the content and you, you will only post something that you're okay going out on your social media. If it is something that you do not own, then they may, you know, publish a message to your audience. You don't want that to go um, out on your social media or they may publish an announcement um, that only is relevant to their subscribers and not to your subscribers. So in that case, you don't want um, that to go out on your accounts. So you could say, add to library after approval by selecting this option we will not add anything to your library directly we will keep it in a queue so you can approve it or reject it let me click on add feed voila it found 10 different updates let me click on that so you see all these updates that it found right now if you like this you could approve and it will go to your my blog library. If you didn't like it, you could reject it. Or if you wanted to add your own commentary, you could click on edit and approve and you could add your own commentary here. I'm gonna cancel this, go back here and uh, I'm gonna reject everything because I don't want to add anything to my blog's library. <clears throat> you could also reject all from here or approve all from here if it so happens that you like everything or dislike everything. In my case, I'm going to reject all. So you can go back to your feed manager and anytime something new publishes, you'll see a number here, like we had 10 here earlier. So that's pretty simple. You can pause a feed and we'll stop getting new data from there. You could also edit it and if you wanted to select a different library than the one you originally selected, you could do that. So that's about it. If you have any question, do not hesitate to connect with us by writing an email to support at rickardpost.com. Thank you.